Now let's look at interest-free periods on credit cards. I've actually mentioned this before in the previous section, haven't I? So basically interest-free period is the uh, period that the credit card sets um, that allows no interest. So if you pay the debt within that period, you don't have to pay interest. That's a very good thing. So after that, you do have to pay interest, but if you do manage to pay before that, that's really good for you. So if the balance is paid in full before the due date of interest for a period, no interest will be charged. That's exactly what I've said. Now this is usually up to a uh, up to one maximum period of 55 days. So you'll see that a lot of credit card companies, they set their interest-free period as 55 days. So you'll see this number a lot. Starting with an example, Tina's credit card comes with a 55-day interest-free period. Okay. Now interest is charged on the balance outstanding after this period at an interest rate of 15% per annum. Okay, so after that period, if you still haven't paid your debt, this is going to be your interest uh, rate. Tina used her credit card to pay her holiday to Fraser Island which costs $2,500. She repaid $500 of this amount within the interest free period and the balance after 75 days. So this girl Tina, she wasn't able to pay back all her um, debt or her holiday fee within the 55 days, but she did manage to pay a proportion of it. Okay, so she'll pay the rest within the 75 days after 75 days. Okay, so let's have a look. Now that's part A. I just put the report information up here because the question was pretty long. So we'll look at these important points and answer a question. So part A says find the amount of credit card debt after the interest free period. Okay, so how much is her debt after the interest free period after the 55 days? Well, it says she repaid $500 within the interest free period. So basically it's asking what's the balance owing. It's going to be the um, uh, price of the Fraser Island holiday minus the amount that she's already paid within that period, which doesn't charge interest. So $2,000 is her credit card debt that's left for her to pay. Okay, but unfortunately on this amount, you will be, she will be charged interest. B, how much simple interest will she pay? Okay, so this is her debt. So it's simply basically, simply basically going to be using the simple interest formula. So interest is only calculated for the final 20 days as she was, she was only able to pay that much for the first 55 days. But because she paid the remaining debt within 75 days, basically that means she paid off her debt within the 20 days different, right? So between 55 days and 75 days is 20 days difference. So that's how much um, period we're going to be calculating. So use your interest, uh, simple interest formula, the $2,000 debt that we've got to pay back, which is the principal in this case, times our interest rate, but because we're only going to be charging interest for 20 days, days, we're going to change this to a daily rate. So change 15% uh, uh, into daily rate by dividing it by 365 and multiply it by the number of terms, which is going to be 20 20 days. Okay, put that all into your calculator, you should get $16.44. Okay, pretty simple I think. So have a look and let's go to a question. Question 11 says Tim's credit card comes with a 55 day interest free period and the interest charged on the balance outstanding after this period at an interest rate of 19.25% per annum. Okay, so it's very similar style. Tim used his credit card to pay for his uh, pay for purchasing his computer, which cost two thousand one hundred dollars. That's the price of the computer. Now he repaid five hundred and fifty dollars of this amount within the interest free period, and the remaining balance he paid it after hundred days. Okay, so again, Tim he could not repay the whole amount that he need to repay within the interest free period, but he did pay a portion of it and the rest after 100 days. Okay. So how are the important parts? And I'm just, I just put the important parts up here, so we'll refer to that as we do the question. So part A says find the amount of credit card debt after the interest free period. Okay, well, that's the price of the computer that he bought and he repaid 550 within the interest free period. So what's the amount of debt that's remaining? Simply going to be 
that minus the amount that we've paid, so that much is left over for us to be, for Tim to pay, okay? But unfortunately, on this amount, interest is gonna be charged. How much simple interest will he pay? Okay, how much simple interest? Well, we're gonna be using our simple interest formula again, but calculate how many, how many days, how many, what's the period? Interest is only calculated for the final 45 days because between 55 and 100, there's 45 days but difference, isn't it? Because he paid it after 100 days, he paid um, 45 days, we're gonna be charging interest, okay? So interest will be our principal value, which is gonna be our bounce owing or basically um, owing debt, okay? So that's our debt that we're gonna pay back remaining. And our rate, that's our rate, but it's per annum. But again, we're calculating in terms of days. So we should divide that by 365 to find the daily rate. And how, what's the period, what's the number of terms? 45 days, let's put that in there. So I've got everything, just put it in your calculator. Tell me guys, should be $36.79. Okay, so it's very, very similar to the example. So I hope that makes sense. Let's move on. Question 12 says the OST credit card offers customers a 55 day interest free period with interest of 21.55% per annum. The due date on Peter's credit card statement was 15th of April and the balance owing was 2100. Okay, so if he didn't pay by 15th of April, he has to be charged interest. Now, if Peter paid the credit card statement on 12th of April, how much interest would have he have been charged? Well, 12th of, uh, 12th of April is before that, isn't it? Before the due date. So it's still within the interest-free period, so he has to pay zero dollars interest. So he's not gonna be charged anything. So he's quite safe. Now B, calculate the simple interest charged if Peter paid the account on 20th of April. Okay, now 20th of April is over, past the due date of the interest-free period. So yes, he will be charged interest. So I'm gonna be simply using our simple interest formula it says the balance owing is 2100 that will be our principal and our rate is this but because we're doing a daily rate see how 20th of april okay and 15th of april is our interest free due date so between that there's five days so he's five days over the interest free due period due date okay so here we're going to be charging interest for five days just multiply it all together and you should get $6.20. Okay, so it's actually really simple and it's pretty similar for all these questions. Okay, that was interest-free period.